You're watching Higher Things Video Shorts with me, Pastor Chris Hall. If you're looking for an easy way to support Higher Things, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any Higher Things content. You can follow Higher Things on social media and our website over at www.higherthings.org. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, we ask that you remember us in your donations and prayers. So, is there a sin we commit that Jesus eventually says, you know what, I, I just can't with you anymore? You've done it once, you've done it twice, you've done not just three times, you've done it, let's say, seven times. And I just can't do it anymore. I mean, we've done that to people, right? They've, they've committed the same thing against us. They've made the same mistakes. It's like if you have a best friend and they gossip about you one time. It, it hurts your feelings. You say, please don't do that. I love you. You love me. Let's, let's be friends. They do it a second time, third time. Eventually, you're like, you know what? I, I can't with this friendship anymore. I have to cut it off. It's toxic to me. I need to get out of this. And we do this all the time, not just with friends, even with family. Um, we do it with sports teams. We do it with um, anything. We just cut it off because it's draining us. It's taking something out of us. So will God ever do that to us? Will he say, you know what? Eventually, I got to draw the line. I just, I can't anymore with you. You know, you come to church every Sunday. You repent of the same sins. You get the same absolution, and then you go out and you do it again. Eventually, we're going to hit a Sunday where God just goes, I can't anymore. you got to make some changes first. Well, the Bible kind of speaks against that. Remember, Peter comes and says, Lord, when my, my brother sins against me, shall I forgive him seven times? Which is actually a lot, right? Forgiving someone seven times for the same offense. Jesus says, no, not seven times, but I tell you, 70 times seven times, meaning perpetually, eternally, unconditionally forgive them. And let me tell you why, says Jesus, because I'm doing that for you. And in Peter's life, we actually see this happening. Matthew 16, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Blessed are you, Simon Bar-Jonah. The next day, hey, I'm going to Jerusalem to die for the sins of the world. This can't happen to you. Far be it from you, Lord. And Jesus says, get behind me, Satan. And then they keep going. And then, right there in the garden, he takes the sword, cuts off Malchus's ear. Put your sword away, Peter, for those who live by the sword shall die by the sword. And then, remember, he says, he says to him, this is before Gethsemane, so I got out of my timeline there for a minute. Jesus says, you're going to deny me three times before the rooster crows, Peter. He says, no, Lord, I, I'll never deny you. Even if I live forever, I'll never deny you. And what does he do? Denies him three times. Earlier, he's brave enough to take on Herod's soldiers and then a little girl at a campfire scares him, and he denies Christ. What does Jesus then do after his resurrection? Does he come with a vengeance and go, all right, Peter, I got some problems with you. No, he forgives him. He comes and he forgives him three times. Just as Peter denied him three times, Jesus forgave him three times. And it's the same for you. No matter how many times you sin, even if it's not just a once or twice like a repeat, but a habitual offender. Christ forgives you. On the cross, he knew every single one of your sins. He knew every denying moment of Peter. He knew every doubtful moment of Thomas. He knew every moment that James hid in fear. And he knows every single one of your sins as well. And he took them. He claimed them. He didn't leave any left over. There were no crumbs falling from the table. He devoured all of them so that now you in this blessed exchange this happy switch this joyful switch may be nourished with his righteousness in his forgiveness on the cross jesus died for every one of your sins just as he died for every one of peter's not only seven of them but 70 times seven all of them unconditionally forgiven because jesus loves you you are forgiven, just as Peter is, because we don't go around. I don't go to Peter the denier Lutheran church. We go to St. Peter Lutheran church. You are a saint because of Christ. God the Father does not see your sin. 
He only sees the righteousness of his son because Jesus has forgiven you everything. And because everything is forgiven, you are loved unconditionally by your father in heaven. God bless you all. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.